What is going on guys? Gino checking back in for another video today. It is currently around a little over one week post show. So I'm giving you guys a honest physique update. Uh, keep in mind the purpose post show was to gain a little bit of body fat in order to get my hormones back in check or uh, at least closer to where they normally should be. So I uh, figured I'd just keep it real with you guys, give you guys an honest physique update and show you guys where I'm at right now. currently drinking my morning coffee it's around uh, 9 17 a.m at the moment I'm about to head home to do a lot of work because i have a lot of catching up to do in terms of video content and my online coaching work so i'm getting caffeinated right now I'm going to be drinking some more water then head home and have the first meal of the day i still can't believe how much i look forward to the actual first meal of the day simply because I love food. Anyway, it is the same old breakfast of 100 grams of oats, 40 grams of whey, 20 grams of cacao powder mixed in with half water, two bananas which came down to 220 grams of bananas, some sea salt and 12 grams of chocolate sprinkles, my second morning coffee with some sweetener and of course the legendary Nutella sandwich with 30 grams of Nutella and some water to get hydrated. All right, so guys, the prep is officially over and I'm now going to be starting my off season. Still feels pretty weird that I can now actually call it an off season officially since I'm now pretty much officially a bodybuilder. <laughs> anyway, um, in terms of my approach post show, I quickly want to show you guys some clips of what I did after the show. So we're driving to the family now and did it sink in that you're the Dutch junior champion bodybuilding? I don't know if I say it right. The champ is it! No, but honestly guys, it, uh, it still feels a little bit surreal. It's starting to sink in right now that uh, we just, we did it. Guys, we prepped for 17 weeks, we did the first show ever. And I say we, because it's not just me doing a prep, it's the entire journey, right? I took you guys along with me. Every single comment, every single view, every like, every Instagram DM, every comment, whatever it was, truly helped out. And uh, especially the people in my surroundings, my lovely girlfriend here, obviously, uh, her brothers, her family, my family, my friends. It truly helped out, and um, it's now time to enjoy. The prep is over, so uh, time to get back on the Lingay train. Today is Easter, actually for two days, so it's time to just enjoy some good food, relax, uh, have some nice time with family and friends, loved ones, and uh, just have a good time overall, man. It's done, the prep is over, time to make some gains. Happy Easter! <laughs> Alright guys, we have the Easter breakfast over here. Lots of bread, lots of fruit. It's time to enjoy guys. My show was on the 20th of April on Saturday. And in case you guys haven't watched my show day video yet, I uh, have something to show you. Oh, let me grab it right here, uh, really quickly. So. I got the first place in the IMBA Junior Bodybuilding class. I'm very stoked to uh, actually have a trophy right here and a gold medal, um, which pretty much closed off to the photo series for me in the best way possible, to be honest. I've mentioned this a couple of times before. For me, it didn't personally matter if I got first place or last place. I just simply wanted to put the challenge on myself to do a 
contest prep, take you guys along with me, push my body and myself to the maximum capacity that I had never done before. So I officially won for myself and I won the competition. So that's a win-win situation for me. And I seriously enjoyed taking you guys along the journey and uh, having you guys support me in the way that you did. Uh, truly meant the world to me. All the comments, the likes, the new views, the new subscribers, the Instagram DMs, the Instagram comments. It truly helped and I really sincerely appreciate every single one of you. In terms of what I did after the show, uh, like I said, the show was on Saturday. I ate a good pizza. If you've been watching the vlog, uh, you could see that. I wasn't really that hungry after the show, simply because I was carving up all day, eating rice cakes with honey, peanut butter, Snickers, you name it. I wasn't really that hungry. I went out for a little bit of pizza, went out for a little bit of ice cream and just enjoyed uh, the rest of that particular day. Then on Sunday was the first day of Easter, so I had a nice breakfast with my family and my lovely girlfriend. And later that day, I had dinner with uh, my girlfriend's family, and the hunger really kicked in uh, at the end of Sunday. So it kicked in pretty late. My girlfriend and I, and her brother and a good friend of ours, decided to go to McDonald's, and I got myself a fat ass burger. Really enjoyed that. Now, normally, I'm not really a person that craves McDonald's, but I just wanted food, man, honestly. I had such a bad craving for just slamming something in my system. So I got a nice burger, some ice cream with it. And then on Monday, second day of Easter, so I had a nice breakfast with uh, my girlfriend's family and my girlfriend, obviously. And then later that day, uh, we went to town, got ourselves a nice donut, some coffee, and then went out for sushi. I didn't really binge because I am one to really despise the whole cheat day phenomenon of uh, slamming your face with foods that you normally would never eat but then suddenly crave all of a sudden. I'm not really one to do that so I just simply enjoyed myself, enjoyed the time with Romy, went out for some nice sushi and just enjoyed the time together. I didn't really stuff my face because again I'm not one to really do that anyway. I didn't really restrict myself that much during prep anyway. It wasn't the fact that I was really craving something I just wanted some freaking food and that was pretty much it. So now in terms of my actual strategy and plan for post contest and entering into the off season slash the bulk. So there are basically two or three things that you can do post show. You can choose to do a reverse diet, which is pretty much as far as I know, the most popular method or the most well known method in which you pretty much uh, continue the contest prep diet and then build up your calories week by week, say for example with 25 grams of carbs, which comes down to 100 calories per week until you reach around maintenance calories or just enter into a surplus after that. You have the recovery diet in which you immediately go back to maintenance or in a slight surplus, or you pretty much just go on a binge and eat every single food in sight for X amount of time, simply because you lost it during your prep, you feel mentally weak and you just need the food. So what I chose to do is, and I had this planning like before I even started contest prep or during contest prep, I chose to do the recovery diet. In case you guys don't know what the recovery recovery diet is, I highly recommend you to uh, do some research on the articles by 3DMJ, which in my opinion are one of the most knowledgeable people in the natural bodybuilding game and the bodybuilding game in general. So what the recovery diet basically means is that you don't reverse diet and build up your calories gradually. You want to simply get yourself out of that very low level of body fat as soon as possible. So intentionally gain some body fat in order for you to feel better hormonally and potentially fix any of the hormonal imbalances or adaptations that you have caused during your contest prep as soon as possible, uh, just gain some body fat, feel good again, and get yourself into a state or position to be able to gain muscle mass effectively again. Because at the end of the day, if you want to hold on to your contest shreds, A, it's pretty much unhealthy because being at like six, or 7% body fat, actual 6 or 7% isn't healthy. You shouldn't be walking around with an ass that looks like a walnut or have veins running across your abs if you still want to make progress in the gym long term. That's not healthy. So what I chose to do, and I'm not gonna lie, it's pretty tough mentally to say goodbye to the contest shreds in pretty much a week's time, but I chose to go for the long-term game uh, thinking big picture. When you're at such a low level of body fat, you don't really feel that good. Mood swings are a fact. Your testosterone is at an all-time low. Libido is non-existent. Gym performance is uh, pretty much as low as it can be in terms of strength and endurance. So in order for me to get out of that state as soon as possible, 
I went straight back to maintenance and for the first couple of days I was actually in a quite big surplus. So my new estimated or calculated maintenance is around 2900 calories. So I just make sure that I either hit that maintenance level or just go slightly above in order to actually gain some body fat. And what I personally really notice right now is that my body fat distribution is pretty much upside down of where it normally was or how it normally is. Normally my legs hold the most amount of fat and if you've been following the Devoted series you would know this since I've said it like multiple times. But what is happening currently is my legs stay pretty much shredded and veiny and my upper body is gaining a lot more body fat. Now I am okay with this, this is the plan. This is better for me long term since holding on to such a low body fat isn't going to be taking me anywhere to be honest. So this is how it currently is and keep in mind uh, during contest prep I lost some muscle mass. This is perfectly normal. This happens for pretty much everyone who is doing a contest prep. When you go to such low levels of body fat you're going to be making some sacrifices in terms of muscle mass. You're going to get to the leanest that you've ever been, so that is part of the game. So what will happen, and I've heard this from a lot of other bodybuilders, eventually if you regain some of that lost muscle mass by putting yourself in a more anabolic state, aka gaining some body fat again and getting your hormones up to par as to where it should be, or was before contest prep, you will pretty much do a recomp, which means that your body fat levels will pretty much stay the same and you will regain some of that lost muscle mass after a certain period of time and that will pretty much lower your body fat levels and put your muscle mass levels back to where they were before contest prep. And even if that doesn't happen, uh, I'm still going to be sticking to the process, getting my body healthy again, getting my hormones healthy again by just following the recovery diet. Again, if you want some more information, 3dmj google them they have a lot of informative articles and videos so big shout out to them because i know that this is better for me long term if i want to make some serious gains in the off season or bulking season now in terms of how i experienced the bodybuilding show it was a freaking amazing experience i was pretty much just smiling and laughing the entire day uh, simply because I had such a good time. Again, I didn't really care if I placed last or first in the bodybuilding show. I simply wanted to challenge myself. I already won for myself, reaching the best shape of my life in those 70 weeks of prep. So I just made sure that uh, whatever happened, I just enjoyed the entire experience. Uh, put myself on the stage in the best shape possible and just have a good time, man. So I was just laughing on there all day. Uh, doing my poses and having a very good time. So in terms of when my next show will be, I'm not quite sure. I would like to maybe do a show at the end of next year, so the end of 2020. But I'm not even quite sure about that, simply because I want to take the time in order to make some actual improvements. Now if I were to do the same exact show the next year, my off season or bulking season would only be around five months. Since I've been training for seven years, uh, just doing a five month bulk would be a way too short time period to actually see some significant improvements in my physique. And I have some certain points in my physique that I want to definitely improve for the next time that I'm going to be doing a cutting phase. I'm going to be doing a lot more work on my abs. Now I got my abs pretty freaking shredded. Uh, but I want to get them a little bit more 3D. So I'm going to be putting a lot more emphasis on abdominal exercises, building some muscle mass on there since that is how you actually get your abs to pop more when you actually want to get shredded again. They always say that abs are built in the kitchen. That is 50% true, 50% false. Uh, abs are revealed in the kitchen and they are built in a bulk or during a bulk. Simply because your abs are also a muscle and they need to grow in order to get into a better shape and pop more. So right now that is my game plan. Uh, I'm going to be taking you guys along my off season slash bulking season. Go over my workout strategy, my nutritional strategy and pretty much just uh, continue where I left off with the Devoted series but then not the Devoted series because that is my actual uh, prepping slash shredding series and just take you guys along this journey as well because I really enjoyed vlogging everything, uh, showing you guys everything that I did, everything that I went through, just the connection that we had during the Devoted series is something that I really want to continue to push since I noticed that this has been a huge positive step in my YouTube game since the channel has been pretty much blowing up ever since I just started to post very frequently. There was a point that I just did daily vlogs simply because I wanted to get a lot of content out there for you guys to inform you, give some value to you guys and 
connect through these vlogs that I did. So again, thank you all so much for the positive support. I'm going to be keeping up with all of these uploads, uh, taking you guys along this journey as well. I do want to focus a lot more on informative content as well because that is something that I really enjoy making and in terms of providing value for you guys, I can deliver a lot more worth uh, in that particular as well. So without further ado, let's continue the vlog right now. So I've been having to do a lot of catching up with client work and putting out all the content that I made during the show and leading up to the show but I can officially say that I'm fully catched up right now. After the show I've got a lot of coaching applications which I truly highly appreciate. If you want to work together and reach your goals in the most efficient and optimal way possible I have a link in the description that will take you to my website where you can apply for online coaching in order to work one-on-one -on -one with me and there is a lot more information regarding my services on my website so go to geniebrowers.com click online coaching for more info if you want to work together to reach your goals effectively anyway right now i'm going to be doing some editing pour myself some more coffee and then head to the gym for my first actual squatting session back into a pretty moderate uh, maintenance or surplus phase So as I said, this was my first actual squatting session, not first lower body session, but actual first squatting session uh, back into the gym. During my peak week before the contest, I made sure that I had squats pretty early on in the week since I didn't want to have any water retention in my legs. The first lower body workout after the show, I didn't do squats as well simply because my body was way too sore. So I waited an extra week in order to let my body uh, recover as best as possible so i did squats the second week after the show so around 10 days post show they felt a little bit off simply because i wasn't really used to the squats anymore which is pretty logical uh, so i dropped around 20 kilograms and just uh, started my programming over and a little bit lower more conservative to uh, prevent any potential injuries i started off with 140 kg which was three plates uh, for three to five reps then did 120 kg for 5 to 8 reps and uh, as you can see here 100 kg for 8 to 10 reps. Now I got all the reps in my programming complete so I'm ready to uh, start building up some strength again. Now as I already mentioned one really weird particular thing that I'm noticing in my body composition right now is my legs stay pretty damn shredded and my upper body is holding a little bit more body fat. Now again uh, I'm trusting the process here. This is better for me long term since hormonally I want and need to get everything back in check in order to make adequate progress during the off season. Uh, so I'm sticking to the progress but it's nice to see that my legs are actually pretty lean right now and they actually look a lot bigger because of it simply because once I'm training uh, and getting some blood into the legs they are very veiny, they look very huge and lean. Yeah like I said it's just pretty nice to see so I just did my normal regular rpt lean mass programming lower body one workout so if you're interested there is a link in the description in which you can cop the program and get on the lean gain train so in terms of performance uh, i'm starting to feel way better right now uh, everything is pretty much feeling as it should be feeling in terms of uh, the pump the blood flow general performance strength and so forth but uh, my body is still pretty sore and i think it is because i try to get the intensity back as to where it was before my actual show so i'm pretty sore right now but um i think it's paying off in my overall conditioning since i'm getting more content with the way that my uh, shape is looking right now post show while it is the goal to gain a little bit of body fat in order to feel uh, good again so in terms of my overall goals in terms of points that i want to improve in my physique I already mentioned that I want to improve my app development. One thing that I noticed, and you'll see that later in this workout as well, when I do decline crunches, just normal body weight, but I will eventually build up in weight as well, my abs get very sore the next day. Or they got sore when I started implementing them. So that just goes to show that they target my abs a little bit differently than the normal cable crunches that I do. Now, that doesn't mean that I'm going to be skipping out on cable crunches altogether, but 
I'm going to be focusing more on exercises that potentially stimulate and target my abs in a different way than what my abs and body are used to or have been used to for a very long, long time. So uh, as you can see here, I'm doing the decline crunches just with body weight and actually focusing on stimulating the rectus abdominis as maximally as I can. So I am focusing on performing spinal flexion, which means that uh, I'm crunching and rounding my back at the top in order to fully stimulate the rectus abdominis maximally. And I am very pleased with how it's feeling and I hope that I can really improve my abdominal structure uh, by doing this exercise more often and obviously applying progressive overload to the exercise. So that's it for the voiceover guys and enjoy the rest of the video. Alright guys, I am outside right now for a little walk. I'm about to go to the movies with my girlfriend but I didn't make that much steps today so in order for me to fit in that popcorn i'm going to be taking a quick little walk of around 20 minutes even though prep is over that doesn't mean that i'm not going to be doing any cardio whatsoever still want to remain a quite lean off season so i gotta put in the steps so that's what i'm doing right now and then afterwards i'm going to go to romy pick her up and go to the movies but are you excited though yes all right it's time to watch marvel Endgame. I haven't even watched Infinity War, so that's pretty much my own stupid fault. And it's not pretty in a logical order, but anyway, I like to watch movies, so we're going to be uh, seeing how it is, since we're most likely going to be crying, if I have to believe You're every other opinion. You're most likely gonna be crying. Yeah, most likely. So we'll see, and uh, let's grab ourselves some popcorn and some nachos. You know, I always like watching the last part of a movie first, because I like knowing how things end, and then I watch the first part. Knowledge. <laughs> so this morning, weighing 84.0 kilograms. So I'm a couple kilos over my stage weight, which was at the lowest, around 81 and a half kilograms. So that's around two and a half kilograms gained. I'm pretty happy with that, considering I went straight to maintenance and I'm not really gaining too much body fat. All right, guys, that is all for this video. I sincerely hope you guys enjoyed. Please let me know in the comments down below if you're stoked for the off season vlogs and videos coming very, very soon. So if you enjoyed this video, please smash the like button because it really helps out the channel grow. Comment down below and subscribe to the channel for so much more content coming really soon. I'm out guys and peace out, see you in the next one.